Hello, this is Robert Malikian continuing installation of Oracle Racked NG Relics 2 on CentOS 4 using VMware. In last session, we installed Clusterware um, and we're going to install ASM in this session. Let's uh, check our Clusterware and make sure it's up and running before we start installing. And we see that our cluster is running on both servers. I downloaded the uh, Oracle database software. And let's start running um, the rest of the install. And here we'll do the cluster there. Clusterware, ASM. And once the ASM is finished, we'll install the database as well. And then we we'll do some tests up tests after that. It should be quite straightforward. But um, we'll see. Um, yes, we'll choose Enterprise Edition. Obviously, in here you could choose accordingly what you need. Um, I think in the documentation it refers to it as DB1. We'll follow the same just for the sake of clarity. Uh, we have two nodes, we choose both of them. Aha! Another check. I can't remember if this check is fast or slow. Let's go with it for a little while and see how long it takes the first one for it to come back. If it is fast, then it would be really fast. Oh yes, it is one of those fast ones. So all gone through. We don't have any issues in here. So let's click on next. Sometimes these things can be long. I can't remember um, which ones are fast and which ones are slow. But anyway, let's give it ASM uh, pass for go to next. Yeah, uh, it's not normal, it's external, and let's choose all of them. There is not. I can't do any more than that. Um, and here is what we need to just install. Here, for sure, is going to take a long time. So what I will do, I will pause and come back when I need to do something. Okay, then see you in a little while. Okay. Um, it has gone through the install and it's come to the stage where we need to run the script as a root. So let's open another terminal and continue. Let's put this in here. Product ten G D B one which uh, yeah local user bin is a good place. It's SSH to Rack two would be a good idea to do the SSH with no password as well. But uh, as we don't have it, let's just copy and paste and run this. Okay, so we have done that. And we click OK to go to next. Yes, we are sure. So here we are, we have got um, 
ASM installed and if we check on our CRS stats we should see some more components up and running um, I think this is a good place to stop and start a fresh session and install the database um, then we do we can actually connect and do some testing as well otherwise I'm gonna run out of my 10 minutes limit so I sign off here this is Robert Malikian installing Oracle 10G rack on CentOS 4 using VMware In the next session I will continue to install the database and do some more testing okay bye